Hi everybody, it's Michael here from Cloud Certification Training and today I'm going to take you through how you can pass the AWS certification exams the first time you take them. First thing you need to do is hop on over to our site at www.cloudcertification.training and you should see this page in front of you. Now there's a lot of great stuff on our site, a lot of free content, um, there's OpenStack stuff, there's Amazon Web Services courses, but the thing I want to bring your attention to today is the AWS practice exams. So if we click on that, and it'll take you over to our AWS practice exams, and at the moment we have three in total, but we also have a bundle that you can buy. So we have the AWS Solutions Architect practice exams, the DevOps, and the certified SysOps also. And they're only $14.95, but you can buy them as a bundle and get all three for $24.95. Now, in my opinion, these are the best way to practice for any of the AWS exams. Now, these exams, these practice exams, have been tailored to try and mimic the exact format of the exams you will get when you take the certification tests. So let's check one out. We'll have a look at the Solutions Architect exam. Now you notice you get three exams in total. Uh, just like the AWS exams, there are 60 questions in each. Therefore you have 180 total questions. There's detailed answers and detailed explanations and links for further study. Uh, there's a little bit about myself. Um, there's my certification. If you want to check whether I'm really certified or not, you can check it out at that link and verify it with that number. As I said before, the exams are tailor-made to try and mimic the associate level exam blueprint with the same percentage. We try and balance our questions out with the same percentage as you see there. Uh, further information, we can see some screenshots, but I think it's better if we just go straight ahead and take you through and uh, have a look at one of the exams in real time. Okay, so here we are, and now as you can see there are three practice exams and this is for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect three practice exams and after each exam there's also a discussion so if you have any questions about the exams you think anything's incorrect or even if you want some general advice on a question or even the exams themselves feel free to ask any question you want there if you pay for this then you're entitled to ask as many questions as you want Okay, so this is question number one of 60, and we'll have a look at it, and it says, which of the following can be used for EC2 instances in a private subnet to connect to the internet? Okay, so I know that that's a NAT gateway, so we'll get this one right. Check it. Now, one thing to note, your, an your answers will not be given till the end of the exam, just so we mimic the exam. This is a admin view, just to show you what you'll see at the end of the exam. So you do not get these questions or these answers, excuse me, popping up after each question. However, you will get that at the end after you've answered all 60 questions. And I'll show you what you got right, what you got wrong, and detailed explanations. So for this question, we got it right. It was a NAT gateway. And then it goes on to explain a little bit about NAT gateways, a nice drawing showing you a NAT gateway. And then we have links for further study when it is applicable. This one doesn't have it. We'll go on to the next question. S3 can send event notifications. Which of the following are AWS services to which S3 notifications can be sent to? Select three options from below. Um, let's just randomly pick them. and Maybe we'll get one wrong. Yeah, we got one wrong. And it tells us what one we got wrong and gives us an explanation about Amazon S3 event notifications and then there's a screenshot showing you when you go to the event section in S3 you can see the options present and there it is SNS topic SQSQ and Lambda function so they were the three answers that you would have got up above and then there's further study links for further study takes you off to the AWS documentation Let's just do one more question. Which of the following statements are true about Amazon reduced redundancy storage when it comes to availability? Choose only one 
best answer. Because it's reduced redundancy storage, it's not as reliable as normal storage, so it's not going to be the 11 nines, and I think it's going to be 99.99. Let's check that, and again, gives you a nice explanation of everything to do about reduced redundancy storage, also a link for further study. So we click that and off we go to Amazon S3 documentation and takes us all through everything you want to know about reduced redundancy storage. Now in my opinion I think these exams are the best way possible to make sure you're going to pass the AWS exams on the first go. Now my advice is go through each of our three practice exams one at a time, see what mark you get, if you get below 65% study up again, read over the answers, check out the further study, do the exam again and so on and so forth until you're getting about 80% I would say. If you're getting 80% consistently in all three of these exams you're well on your way to passing any of these AWS certifications the first time. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our video and um, feel free to drop us a line, any questions and get onto our site, get your three sample exams, only $14.95 or you can buy all three courses, the Certified Solutions Architect, the SysOps and the DevOps, all for only $24.95. So if you feel like you're going to be doing these exams in the future, great investment, just grab the exams now, get the bundle and um, get certified. Talk to you soon.